Hi friends this web's lesson web development video tutorial on PHP and here we have discuss how to import or load CSV file data in jQuery data tables plugin by using PHP script with Ajax. There are many our video viewers has requested us to make video tutorial on how can we display CSV file data into jQuery data tables plugin so he can search, filter CSV file data easily. So, here we have covered this topic and make this simple video tutorial on how to import CSV file into jQuery data tables plugin using Ajax with PHP. For load or import CSV file data into jQuery data tables plugin, First we will upload CSV file using Ajax which send request to PHP script and in PHP script it will fetch data from CSV file and convert it into JSON string. And send to Ajax request success function and under this function it will be converted into JavaScript array and lastly we will initialize data tables plugin and load data using JavaScript array. So this way we can load CSV file data into data tables. Now let's start discussing this topic so this is our working folder and this is our sample CSV file in which we have store student data like ID, name, and phone number, so we want to load this data into jQuery data tables. This is our index.php file and here we have already included required library like jQuery, Bootstrap, and jQuery data tables plugin library also. We will use all library functionality under this tutorial. On this page first we have to make HTML form, so here we have write form tag with attribute ID is equal to upload CSV, method is equal to post and encryption type is equal to multi-part form data. This way we have define HTML form. Under this form tag we have define one input type is equal to file with name attribute is equal to CSV file and ID is equal to CSV file. We can select CSV file from this input file tag. Here we have also add accept attribute is equal to dot CSV file. By using this attribute we can only select CSV file from our local computer other file format will not be displayed during file selection. Then after we have defined submit button, when we will click on submit button then after data will be imported from CSV file to data tables, so we have write input type is equal to submit with name and ID attribute is equal to upload and value is equal to upload. Below this we have make one table with ID is equal to data table with three table column like student ID student name, and phone number, we will initialize data tables plugin on this table and display student CSV file data here. Now we have moved to write jQuery code so here we have write dollar with form ID upload CSV with on method and under this we have write submit event, so when form has been submitted then this block of code will execute. Under this first we have write event.prevent default method, this method will stop to submit form data or page will not be reloaded. After this we have start write ajax request and under this first we have write url option set to import.php, here we have send request to this file for upload selected file. 
In second option we have write method option set to post, here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data option and in this we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write new with form data object this. Here data has been sent to server in a set of key and value pair that is form fields and their values. In fourth option we have write data type set to JSON, it will use for in which format you want to receive data from server, so here we have defined JSON, so data will be received in JSON format from server. In fifth option we have write content type option which has been set to false, this option has used when we have sending data to the server. In sixth option we have write cache option and it is also set to false, this option is used for stop to cache Ajax request data in browser. In seventh option we have write process data option which is also set to false, it is used for send DOM document or non-processed data file, so it is set to false. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server which we can access from this JSON data argument. Now a remaining code will write after write PHP code on import.php file, so we have moved to write PHP code on import.php file. So. Here first we have write if statement and under condition we have write not operator with empty function and under this we have write dollar file csv file with name variable, this condition will check this variable value is not blank then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar file data variable is equal to file open function and under this we have write dollar file csv file variable with temporary name variable with red argument. File open is a PHP file system function and this function will open selected file from temporary location and it will read file data and store under dollar file data variable. Below this we have write file get csv function and under this function we have write dollar file data variable, this function will parse csv fields which get from dollar file data variable. Here we have write this code for skip first line from csv file in which we have write column title. Now we have write while loop and under condition we have write dollar row variable is equal to file get csv function with dollar file data variable. Here this file get csv function convert csv file data into php which we will access through this dollar row variable using this while loop. Under this loop we have write dollar data variable is equal to array with first key student id value get from dollar row zero index, here we have store student id data into the student id key which value get from dollar row zero index. Same way we have write student name key value get from dollar row 1 index and student phone key value get from dollar row 2 index. This way we have store csv file data into this data variable in array format. Now we want to send this data to Ajax request in JSON format. So here we have write echo statement with JSON and code function and under this we have write dollar data variable, this function will convert PHP array to JSON string and send to Ajax request. 
After this we have go to index page success function and here we have write dollar with file tag id csv file with value method with blank value, this code will remove selected file from this tag. Below this we have write dollar with table id data table with data table method, this method will initialize jQuery data table plugin on table with id data table. Under this method we have write data option and here we have use JSON data source for fill data in jQuery data tables, so here we have write JSON data in which we have received data from PHP script in JSON format. This option will fill jQuery data tables with this JSON data on web page without refresh of web page. Now we want to define column, so here we have columns option. Under this we have data option with first JSON array key student ID, in second we have again write data option and here we have write student name key and in third data option with JSON array key student phone. So here we have defined three column in jQuery data tables, in first table column it will display student ID data, in second key student name data and in third table column it will display student phone data. So here our code is ready, so we have check output in browser. Friends here we can see when page completely load into browser, then we can see file tag with upload button and blank table with three column on web page. So here currently jQuery data tables plugin is not activated on table which we can see on web page, it will be activated after we will upload CSV file. So when directly click on upload button without selecting file then no action has been performed. Now we have select file so we have click on file tag. Here we can only see CSV format file, other format file we cannot see. This is because we have use accept attribute and in this we have only defined CSV file format for selection, so it has display only CSV file while selecting file, so here we have select the student.csv file. Now we have click on upload button, after click on upload button selected file has been removed from file tag and csv file data has been load into jquery data tables plugin. Here we can see student data which has been load from csv file, so here we have not load data from mysql database but it has been load from csv file into jquery data tables plugin. There are many benefits of load CSV file data into jQuery data tables plugin, here we can easily search data, here we can easily sort data in particular order, here CSV file data has been converted into pagination also. So if there is large amount of data in CSV file and then we can easily filter or search data after imported into jQuery data tables plugin. This way we can load or import data from CSV file to jQuery data tables plugin using PHP script with Ajax. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel.
Thanks for watching this video tutorial.